Hello community, I hope you are doing good in this discussion. We will see how to use read method. And in case you missed previous discussion about search underscore count method, please check link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Weblens channel under the home screen. You can see Odoo 17, 18 development playlist available here. And right now we are working on this playlist or a methods. And by the way, this is the main playlist of the Odoo 17 and Odoo 18. All right. So let's back to our main topic. And guys, if you didn't subscribe this channel, please subscribe. It will help me a lot. All right. And you will also get the latest notification. So let's back to our main topic, like what is read method, right? So guys, if you remember when you call the search method, right? So what it return is the record set. Now let's say if you don't want to return the record set, but instead you want to return a list of dictionary format I mean the JSON format right so in that case read method will help you a lot so here while calling the read method you have to understand some basic point all right so for that uh, let me show you the student profile in the school profile and let me open this profile and now in this button click event I will try to show you how we can call the read method let's say the different model let's say this current model as well as the different model and how you can also optimize the read method the main reason to use the read method is while you are trying to send data one system to another system or let's say you are trying to get some JSON data right from the specific model uh, in that case the read method is very useful so for that let's say the custom modules right here uh, we have already have this school model and here you can see this is our custom model and once this button once we click uh, it will automatically call this method right so before let me comment it out everything and now uh, let me add here let's a self dot read and we have to pass this blank parameter let's say for example if we don't pass here right and let's see and yeah guys if you don't know how to configure or in PyCharm using like this way right start stop and debug mode I already explained in the editor level playlist so please if you don't know how to configure and still you are using the terminal please check that playlist it's also help you once i click to this button automatically you can see here wow it will automatically return this data so first thing is you can see the first print statement is custom method clicked right then after the record set itself you can see uh, and here you can see there is a major two difference between record set and the list of dictionary right you can see this is list of uh, record set and you can see this is the same record but in list of dictionary format so the first thing is this one so record set if you want to get a specific field so you have to provide this record set name dot id or let's say school image or let's say anything right but uh, in a read method you will get everything so you can see id one school image by the way this is the best 64 code so you don't need to worry about why it is long code you can see right after that you can see invoice id invoice user id and the most probably you can see here the invoice id is many to one field right and due to that you can see in a tuple so in a first zero index you can see the database id and uh, this second position argument is the display underscore name for this model okay which is you can see here as of now we have a name field in case there is a different model having a different name then it's always appear here in the second position argument right you can see here invoice that student underscore list ref underscore field id right then after binary field binary file name binary fields my currency id amount write that create that and everything and here if you see observe right all these fields you will get 
in a dictionary format right so this is the beauty of read method now the question is how you will also use for the different models right so uh, here first thing is I want to uh, clarify one thing uh, about this read method if uh, the self itself or there is a, some other variable right which we are using like this for example this one if this variable or self having a record set after this read method works might be sound is confusing right so let's say here uh, I'm, I'm using like self.env wp.studa and now I'm using here the read method uh, let me comment it out this part because this uh, it will give us a lot of code here right so let me remove here all the logs if I click to this button now you can see it will return a blank list that means here it's not written the specific record set and here it's if we will print this one so basically it's print a null record set you can see here see the blank record set and due to that once you call the read method it will also still read in the null value i mean the blank list right so here the question is i want to extract the particular records right then how you can do it so it is very easy way uh, the first thing is you can search abc equal to search method okay uh, let's say i'm trying to search all the records of the student profile now you can see here alexa print abc okay or oh, let's say we will not use here we will use at the end and here we are going to rem uh, remove all this object and we can use here abc and read by the way you can see the blank if you pass here the blank parameter it's also work so by default there is a two optional parameters we have to pass the first is the fields which we want to return and another is the load load we will uh, discuss in a some time all right so but if you will not provide any fields here so by default it will return all the mod all the specific models fields so let's say in, in our case uh, for example let's say we are using the student right so let me minimize this one and you can see here this is the student and all these fields automatically written in a list of dictionary format so let's see so here uh, let me give you some insight so first thing is we are trying to search all the students right you can see it's stored as a record set and after that record set we will just query the read method so now once i click here you see list of dictionary format you can see here so basically uh, this is the id of the first record set you can see right uh, let me show you here yeah here so this is the first record after you can see id 7 right so this is the second record so like that way right so after that you can see at the end of this message you can see this is the record set in a one single line you can see all this record set and from record set it will automatically convert list of dictionary right now uh, let's say fields right this is the parameter you can mention or without mention you can just pass as a blank list like this but let's add here the fields for example i want to return as a name then after school underscore id okay i want to only use a uh, return or let's say I want to try to convert in a list of dictionary 
only name and the school id by default you can see if you are not provide here the id it will automatically also return the id so you don't need to mention here that specific field okay once i click to this button now you can see here so you can see id name and the school id right so this is the one record this is the second record all right so you can see all the student profile in, it's converted into list of dictionary format right and after you can see this is the record set now uh, might be you have a question what is the main purpose to call this method right uh, if you heard about the xml rpc right uh, to integrate with the odoo from the third party applications so in that case you can directly use this method okay to get like this data the list of dictionary format well that is the one case different use cases you can also use for example in the website you are trying to transfer data instead of record set you can easily pass this json data like this way right so here in that case you can use this read method so read method is the high level method so it's it's good if possible don't overwrite this method because behind the scenes it's calling the underscore fetch query and the underscore read underscore format method okay and another thing is uh, what about uh, if you see and yes another thing is if you see this one right the many to one field you can see here it's display also the name underscore display this one right uh, for example let's say you want to only use school underscore id as a seven and you want to also remove this part so in that case we have to also pass here another parameter which is the load and here simple you can pass none okay so let me restart the service uh, let's say let me remove the calls let me click here oops we have issue here you can see the load is an invalid keyword argument for the print so the, so this is my mistake uh, let me add this one inside this method not in the print statement okay so that's my bad let me go to here click to this button and you can see here the school id is seven right instead of tuple so in that case you can directly use id only uh, you can directly use the id uh, not the name display name field right so th this is the main purpose of the load equal to none so i hope you understood about the read method and in case if you have any doubt related this method please comment below and see you in our next session